Hey guys, Hannah here and welcome to this special guest episode of Insta360 TV. Basically, we have an absolutely kick-ass creator called Ollie Bennett, who previously was a world champion for rollerblading. However, he took the deep plunge into underwater videography, where his 1x videos have been shared a bunch of times on our social media. So we thought, why not let Ollie have his own episode where he can give you guys his top tips for filming underwater with the 1x. So stay tuned for Ollie's top tips and enjoy this episode. <music> What's up? I'm Ollie Bennett from Undivision Pro and this is Insta360. So you may have seen some of our stuff on the Insta360 Instagram and social media. We do a lot of underwater filming and basically Insta360 got in contact with us and said, hey, how would you like to do a guest blog for us? And I said, sure, but you know, what I'm going to need is an all-inclusive holiday on a paradise island. I need everything paid for. I need only the best accommodation. And you know, they said, of course, no. So then I did it anyway. Are you ready for some tips and some videos? and some awesome times all thrown in to one blockbuster video on YouTube or Instagram or wherever you're seeing this. Well, let me tell you a few things I love about this camera. First of all, the colors are popping. They look really, really great. And you know, the, the little planets when you're on holiday, tiny planets, uh, everyone loves them. You know, when you're showing some amazing pictures you've been taking with your super expensive camera, you're like, look at this, like, that's nice. Look at that, oh, that's lovely that. And you show them a tiny planet on the, this camera and they're just like, whoa, how did you do that? And also it's great for underwater. We've been using this now for quite a while. I'll show you some clips from some of our other trips, which you may have seen on Insta360 social media. We've won a lot of awards for them, yes. Top tips, top tips, top tips. If you're going to be filming underwater, use the dive case. The Venture case is a water resistant, bang resistant case. It's not an underwater filming case. Now, a lot of people using the dive case uh, notice there's an idea at the bottom and those people get a bit stressed about it, but you can't not have the idea. However, when you are editing the footage, you can zoom in to whatever you're filming use the fog inserts they are there to absorb any excess moisture inside the dive case let's see what we do with this little thing the insta360 1x from insta360 1x i came from the mud there's dirt on my
I'm going to show you my setup that I use to get some great shots on the water. Uh, basically, I've got the Amazon Basics clear plastic lightweight selfie stick. The reason being because it floats, it doesn't weigh much and it, the whole thing floats basically. Uh, also, very importantly, it means you can point your camera this way forward, which is crucial because you don't want to be filming with the tip of the dome because that's where the stitching takes place. You always want to be focused at what you're filming, right? I've added a light because light brings out the colors as the sun has difficulty getting through the waves. Lazy sun. Anyway, important things to remember. Keep this out of the sun. Keep it out of the heat. If you've got an air-conditioned room or in the shade, that's where you want to keep it because if it gets too hot and you jump in the water, which is freezing cold, you're going to enter the risk of there being steam in the lens. I mean, in the case, obviously which is the case. Anyway, so other important thing to make sure you don't get any steaming uh, inside or any fog inside the case is to add fog inserts. Super important, they come in the box. Always add two fog inserts. Tap them before you go in the water. If they feel a bit damp, put two new ones in because you don't want to miss the moment when a shark bites your leg off, do you? Right? And the other important thing, which seems obvious, obviously, but everyone is going to make this mistake one day, is make sure that the side with the buttons goes in with the side with the buttons because I'm sure everyone has one day put this in the wrong way jumped into the water and then Loch Ness monsters come out and said what up and you're like I finally got the opportunity to film and you put the camera in the wrong way which is basically you're just carrying around something that does nothing weights so before you go in the water check make sure it turns on and off and that you're recording the most important of all things I can teach you, my pupils, is always use quick cap. Quick cap must be on or face the consequences of depression and pain and suffering. What's quick cap? I'll tell you. Okay, what's quick cap? This is something that is super, super important, especially if you're using the dive case because it's very hard to see the screen underwater and through the dive case. So what you're gonna wanna do is turn quick cap on. And to do that, you're gonna turn the camera on using the bottom button. The camera is now on. You are gonna skip through all the settings, not video, right, settings, select using the top button, click again, click again, click again and here we have the about section go to quick cap on quick cap off is bad quick cap on is good all right and then we're going to go down to done i'm going to do it twice because that's the kind of guy i am because i missed it the first time done and then what you're going to do is you're going to click through to video because i want to film on video and now power off using the bottom button what this means is the next time you want to record all you have to do is hold down the top button and it's going to automatically video and that my friends is the most important thing you will ever learn in your adult life stop again saves and it automatically turns off because if you don't do that and you're underwater and some creature is coming at you, this is your other option, right? Bearing in mind you can't see the screen, you have to turn the camera on and you don't know when it's on, right? And then you go, right, click it again. Now it's on video and now I'm gonna press record and then I'm gonna stop, all right? So now I'm recording, but I don't really know if I'm recording because I'm underwater and then I stop it and then I don't know if it's gonna stay like this because if you leave it for a while, it's gonna turn itself off, it's so, confusing so always use quick cap quick cap is the future
Here are our favorite settings to use in our videos. We've got the standard video, 5.7K, 30 frames per second, which is the best quality. We've got the ISO on auto, shutter speed fast, um, and log off. A lot of people might say use log on, but I really like the Insta360 colors as they are, so I don't want to mess around too much with them. And that's it. Those are the most important video settings for us and our videos. Uh, we woke up this morning and we went into the sea and we were holding the sides of this motorboat flying into a pod of dolphins and we became one with the pod. And it was probably one of the best moments, definitely one of the best moments of my life and it was incredible. We had spinner dolphins above, below, side to side, everywhere. And this camera really shone through for us. We have brought six cameras on this trip, including other underwater cameras, and we've been swimming with these dolphins for two days. The first day we tried two different cameras and uh, it was an easy decision the second day to take two Insta360s. And that's because we were moving with the boat, we're moving fast, and the camera, the cameras are going like this against the current and there's nothing you can do you know however tight you hold it you're going really fast and the water's pushing against you and on any other camera uh, basically the footage is, is coming out completely wobbly it's cutting out like the different parts the top the bottom uh, it doesn't matter even if the camera has inbuilt stabilization the footage is okay to get some shots out of very very short ones whereas with this one we film for like 10-15 minutes straight and there's always something going on and the amazing thing is it's uh, you know, it's filming side, up, below, everywhere, and you've got dolphins all around you. So even if you're looking at this lot over here, there's more over there that the camera's getting. So it's like a second pair of eyes. So you can really focus on whatever you want to look at, and the camera is still filming everything, including what you're looking at and everything else. So you don't have the stress of having to stare at the back of a screen to make sure you're getting everything in shot. So you're really enjoying the moment when you're using the Insta360. Um, you can see that the footage is going to look super stable. We haven't been able to look at it ourselves because my computer completely died. Uh, but when we get back home, we will be able to check it. And I'm confident that there will be plenty of stable footage and a lot going on. And that's only achievable really with a 360 camera. In this case, the Insta360 ONE X. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. It's a little bit of an insight on how we use the camera on land and in the sea. Uh, if you did enjoy it, you want to know more, consider following Insta360 on YouTube, Facebook and Instagram. Also consider giving a follow to my wife and I's project which is Undervision Pro. We've got YouTube, Facebook and Instagram where we do post our best videos and photos especially with nature, wildlife and tips on traveling, best places to go, especially places that people haven't heard of, nice non-touristy ones, so give us a follow and yeah, Undervision Pro, Insta360 ONE X and they love each other. Thanks a lot for watching and have a great day. Amazing Ollie, thank you so much for that episode and we hope that you guys enjoyed learning Ollie's top tips for shooting underwater with the One X. But speaking of waterproofing, now that we've released the One R, I want to know where your guys' favourite diving locations are anywhere in the world. Let us know down in the comments and maybe, just maybe, we can make an episode about that. So smash that subscribe button and ring the notification so you can stay tuned for our upcoming Insta360 TV episodes. Thanks so much again, spread the love, and I'll see you guys for the next episode. Bye.